drop after drop of fresh crystal clear water. We all know how precious fresh water is on the planet. But do we actually realize the great privilege of turning on the tap or bathing in clean water? Amy Itaranta's novel, Memory of Water, has the first merit of forcing our imagination in order to awaken our awareness. But then it has so many other qualities as well. A dystopian novel of incredible force. Memory of Water takes us to a future where global warming has changed the world's geography and its politics. Wars are waged over water, and China rules Europe, including the Scandinavian Union, which is occupied by the power state of New Kyan. In this far north place, 17-year-old Noria Kaitio is learning to become a tea master like her father, a position that holds great responsibility and great secrets. Tea masters alone know the location of hidden water sources, including the natural spring that Noria's father tends, which once provided water for the whole village. The story brings forward a conflicted character. There is much sadness in a world where you can die of thirst, but there is also beauty in the art of a tea master and the special connection he has with water. Amy Taranta constructs a world made of survival instinct and subtle resistance, a reflection on what humanity might lose if it gives up on the refinement that seems superfluous in face of urgent affairs. It's hard to believe this is a debut novel. Not only are the characters so masterfully described, but the gradual rising of tension in her plot shows the innate force of a skillful storyteller. A writing style combining strength and finesse not very common nowadays, and definitely worth coming back for. Another piece of Finland added to my Scandinavian advent calendar, and an author I will surely revisit, keeping this quote in mind. The story tells that water has a consciousness, that it carries in its memory everything that's ever happened in this world, from the time before humans until this moment, which draws itself in its memory even as it passes. Until tomorrow, enjoy your reading.